Imagine someone is watching you, not from a window, but from inside your digital life. Every letter you type, every password you enter, every private message you send, they see it all. Your bank details, they have them. This watcher is silent, invisible, a ghost in your machine. You won't hear or see them, but they're there, recording every keystroke. It's not a movie, it's real, it happens every day. The tool, a keylogger. Keyloggers are simple but devastating. Software or hardware that spies on you from inside your computer. Every tap on your keyboard becomes a piece of data, a piece of your life, stolen and sent to someone with bad intentions. This is the modern digital trap. Think about your day checking emails, logging into social media, chatting with family, shopping online, working on projects. Each action requires you to type something, a username, a password, a credit card number, a personal thought. Now imagine all that information being funneled directly to a criminal. They don't just have one password, they have the keys to your entire kingdom. They can become you and you'd have no idea. This is where our story begins, not with a bang, but with a quiet click, a single keystroke, then another, and another, each one a breadcrumb leading a thief straight to the heart of someone's world. It's a story about a young woman whose future was almost stolen by this silent watcher. It's about how easily our digital lives can be compromised and how we can fight back, because in this digital age, knowing your enemy is the first step to defeating them. The silent watcher is out there, but they are not unbeatable. Our story starts with Mercy, a young woman in Kampala. She's about to learn just how real and dangerous this threat can be. Her journey will show us the risks, the consequences, and the fight to reclaim what's hers. In a world where every keystroke matters, vigilance is your best defense. The silent watcher is waiting, but so are the heroes. Let's see how Mercy's story unfolds, and what we can all learn from it. Meet Mercy, 21, living in the vibrant city of Kampala. She's a computer science student, ambitious, sharp, and determined to make a difference. Mercy's days are filled with lectures, coding, and dreams of building a better future. Her big break, an internship at a respected law firm in the city center. It's her chance to apply her tech skills in the real world, managing sensitive digital systems. The office is professional, the work challenging, and Mercy is eager to impress. She's given her own computer, a symbol of trust and responsibility. The firm handles sensitive cases, family law, corporate disputes, property rights. Mercy knows the weight of this responsibility and is meticulous in her work. Life is good, her studies uh, are going well and her internship is uh, teaching her more than any textbook. She feels on track, her future bright. But beneath the surface, danger is lurking. Mercy has no idea that her journey is about to take a dark turn. The silent watcher has already found her, the trap is set. And Mercy is about to walk right into it. It started with a small annoyance a password that wouldn't work. Mercy tried to log into her email from her office computer. Incorrect password. She reset it, shrugged it off. Maybe she was tired, but then a friend messaged. Did you send me that weird email? Mercy hadn't. Her account was sending spam. Her sent folder was full of messages she didn't write. Dread crept in. This wasn't just a forgotten password. Soon her university portal and social media accounts were compromised. Files she hadn't opened appeared in her recently accessed list at work. Confidential case files. The digital ghost was no longer whispering, it was shouting. Mercy, a computer science student, felt powerless. Every time she changed a password, the intruder seemed to know the new one instantly. It was as if someone was watching her every move. Her personal and professional lives were under attack. The trust her employers had placed in her was at risk. The ghost in the machine threatened to destroy everything she'd worked for. Panic set in, she needed help. The silent watcher was no longer just a threat, it was a crisis. Mercy had to act fast, but first she had to understand what she was up against and how to fight back. And overwhelmed, Mercy called her friend Brian, a cybersecurity enthusiast. She described the chaos, failed passwords, strange emails, accessed files. Brian listened, then said, it sounds like you have a keylogger. A keylogger records every key you press. Passwords, messages, everything. The data is sent to a third party, bypassing most security. Keyloggers come in two forms, software and hardware. Software keyloggers are hidden programs, often installed via phishing emails or infected downloads. They run silently, invisible to most users. Hardware keyloggers are tiny devices plugged between your keyboard and computer. 
Easy to miss, deadly in effect. All it takes is a few seconds of physical access. The attacker can walk away with a complete record of everything you've typed. The thought chilled Mercy. Her digital life was an open book to a stranger. She and Brian had to find the keylogger fast. Mercy and Brian began their investigation with the office computer. First, they checked for hardware keyloggers, nothing unusual behind the desk. That meant it was likely software. Mercy ran the firm's antivirus, no threats found. Brian wasn't surprised. Good keyloggers hide from standard scans. Next, they checked running processes. One stood out, serve.x. A quick search revealed it could be malware. They dug deeper, checking visitor logs and security footage. The office manager recalled a recent visit from a supposed IT technician, someone new, not their regular contractor. He'd claimed to be there for a printer update, spent a few minutes at Mercy's workstation. The pieces clicked into place. This wasn't a remote hacker, it was a physical attack. The technician was a fraud using social engineering to gain access. Ten seconds with a USB stick was all he needed to install the keylogger. The USB was the Trojan horse, the friendly technician, the enemy. Mercy remembered the day, a friendly face, a moment of trust. That trust had been her downfall. Cybersecurity isn't just about software, it's about people. The greatest vulnerability is often human. The trail of digital breadcrumbs led to a real-world suspect. Mercy and Brian had found their lead. Now it was time to act. The fake printer technician was the breakthrough. Mercy pressed for details. No name, just a badge and a convincing story. He'd used her computer, claiming to check network connectivity. Brian explained the keylogger was likely installed from a USB stick, disguised as a legitimate tool. Once installed, it hid deep in the system, capturing every keystroke. The technician walked away, leaving a permanent back door. Mercy felt sick. She remembered trusting him. It was a chilling lesson. Cybersecurity is about more than firewalls. Physical security and human psychology matter just as much. The friendly face had been a mask for a thief. Mercy realized how easily trust can be exploited. She vowed never to let it happen again. The next step was clear, report everything. The fight to reclaim her digital life had begun. The gravity of the breach hit Mercy hard. This wasn't just about her accounts, it was about the law firm's sensitive data. Divorce cases, corporate secrets, financial records, all at risk. The attacker could blackmail, commit fraud or sabotage legal cases. Mercy felt responsible, but she knew what she had to do. She reported everything to the firm. The race was on to contain the breach before more damage was done. Every second counted. Mercy went to the managing partner and laid out the evidence. The firm acted fast, contacting the police cybercrime unit. Security footage and digital forensics identified the fake technician, a known associate in a corporate lawsuit. His goal steal legal strategies and confidential communications. The police arrested him, finding the USB stick and stolen data. Mercy was praised for her quick thinking. The firm overhauled its security, training staff and tightening visitor policies. The crisis was averted before the data could be used. Justice was served. Mercy's courage made all the difference. Mercy's ordeal changed her. She finished her internship as a hero, but knew her work wasn't done. She became a cybersecurity advocate, sharing her story at university. Her advice, be suspicious of strange emails, use strong antivirus, and guard physical access to your devices. Enable two-factor authentication. It could have stopped her attacker. Keep your software updated. Security patches matter. Your digital life is your real life. Protect it. Don't let a silent thief steal your future. Be smart, be aware, be proactive. Your future is too important to leave unguarded. Take control of your digital destiny. Mercy's story is a warning and a call to action. The silent watcher is out there, but so are you.